Welcome to today's video, where I would like to show you a setting in ChatGPT that can dramatically impact the output that you receive from every single prompt that you use, and this can also save you a considerable amount of time. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be training ChatGPT to essentially learn our persona, and it's going to do so uh, directly through our settings. So what you need to do is you need to click your, log into your account and then click on your username in the bottom left. From here, we want to select custom instructions. Now, if we take a look at this, there's two boxes that we need to fill. So the first one is all about our input. So what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses. That's the first one we're going to populate. And then the second one is how you what would you like ChatGPT to respond. So here's some thought starters, which just gives us, gives us some suggestions. And this is essentially where we're going to be plugging in everything we can about us. So you, you can also click this little I button and click the learn more to learn all about this functionality as well. Okay, so how you know your data is used and things like that. But it basically, yeah, this is all about ChatGPT learning about your persona. And that's what we're gonna be using this for. So what I would put in here as an example, this is a very, very um, brief example, just to illustrate the point. I would say something like, I am a project manager with, let's say 12 years of experience. So obviously you can tailor this to suit your needs. Uh, I work, work for, and then you could put your organization in here. So literally put that, uh, I should actually put, let's put that in here. And I will drop this custom instruction in the description down below for you if you did want to use this uh, as a starting point. So I'm a project manager with, and if what I do here is if I just, um, do dot dot dot, then you can plug in your information if you did want to use it. So I'm a project manager with years of experience. I work for uh, organize, that organization. The organization is based in the, I'm gonna put finance sector, of course, put that, uh, update that for your, for your needs here. So I'm a project manager with, you could put 10 years of experience, 12 years of experience. I work for, uh, whatever organization it is, the organization is based in the finance sector. Our main uh, service offering is, you could put something like financial products. Our main competitors are, da, 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 da. you could say something like, I work in a team of six fellow project managers, the overarching program is dot, dot, dot. Or you could put that in there yourself. So this is the kind of information you wanna plug in. As you can see, it's very detailed, it's very, very specific. But if if you can imagine that every time ChatGPT, you, you know, you start a new conversation, it's going to take this into account. And you're not gonna to have to plug this in every single time, which can, you know, it can take time if you're gonna do this, or you're gonna to have to open a file every single time to copy and paste it in. So this is the kind of thing that I would plug in. Give them a persona, teach G chat GPT all about you. And then from here, you can add any other elements of um, information that you think would help the tool. So as an example, I work with a waterfall project management methodology. I have, um, you could put something, I have qualifications in print two and PMP. Again, examples. You'd want to tailor this to suit your own experience, your own needs, okay? You could say something like, I operate only with the principles set out by, let's put the, um, the PMI. So Project Management Institute. So yeah, some of this might seem a bit superfluous, but what we're trying to do is just give this as much information as possible. And some of this, you might not need all of this. Um, but as I say, the more detailed you can be, the better. So 
That's essentially what I would do here. How would you like ChatGPT to respond? So how formal or casual should ChatGPT be? So I would like all responses to be in a formal professional tone. I would like responses to be um, I would like responses to be um, detailed, yet simple to understand. Keep sentences short at one or two lines or something like that. How do you want to be addressed? Please, <laughs> this is where it can get quite fun. Please address me as Mr. Project Manager. Let's just put Mr. Project Manager in. Let's see what happens. Should ChatGPT have opinions on topics or remain neutral? So this can be really, really important. Please remain neutral. If I can spell correctly. So now all you need to do, make sure this is toggled, hit save, and now it's all in play, and now we can start working with ChatGPT. So I could say, I want to create a project plan, please provide a sample, um, please provide a sample, no, please provide a suggested template, including key milestones and tasks, provide in table format. So, Certainly, Mr. Project Manager. So it's it's taken into account who we are. So below suggest template for project plan, tailored to encompass key milestones and tasks. This template aligns with the waterfall project management methodology, considering your expertise in PRINCE2 and PMP, and adheres to PMI principles. So as you can see, all of the key phases that you would expect, we've got the, the key milestones as well, and we've got the deliverables. Of course, we can expand this out further with future prompts. And before you know it, you have ChatGPT working for you time and time again in a much more efficient uh, and effective way. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, uh, feedback or comments, just drop them down below. I do actually have a downloadable resource which includes an entire list of all the ChatGPT prompts that I use, and I'll drop that in the description below as well. Uh, that will be paid, but that does help support the channel. And I just thought I'd mention it because you may find it useful. It's just got so many different prompts in there and it would just save you a lot of time. You can just copy and paste them in. It, it would be great if you could su su subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, other than that, perhaps check out some other videos on my channel about maximizing ChatGPT in project management. And with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.